So here's a quick setup. You can choose your language, choose your region, choose Google TV if you want to set up all the different apps, or you can choose basic if you just want to hook up live TV antenna and a gaming console. Now, if you already have a Google Home system, you can scan the barcode and add it to your home app. If you don't want to do that, just go ahead and plug in your Wi-Fi, wait till it connects. Then the TV is going to check for the latest updates. After it's done updating, you want to go ahead and enter your Gmail account. If not, you can create one at the bottom. And just in case you have two-step verification, you need to pull up the YouTube app and OK it right there on your phone. The last few steps, if you plan on using Google Voice commands, you want to go ahead and hit continue and turn on personal results. You can select any applications you want to preload so you don't have to manually go download them. Then press the center button and the home button to pair the remote control. If you don't do this step, you won't be able to use the voice commands because it will be using IR instead of Bluetooth. Once all the applications get set up, then you can start exploring and enjoying the operating system. If you have antenna plugged in, just go over to the gear, press the gear again, go over to where it says channel and inputs, and then do a channel scan. Just go ahead and choose antenna and hit search. So what it's going to do is just look for local channels in your area that's in the proximity of your home and what your capabilities of your antenna is. Now if you look in the center of the screen, you can see numbers right there and that's how many digital channels that it picks up. But that's not telling you how clear they're going to be. It'll just let you know that it did pick them up. Once it's done scanning, you can then look at the programming in your TV and every channel is going to have its own type of resolution. You will see a button on remote control that looks like a TV and that's how you get your own screen programming. If you go to the side, you can stream different channels. You can look for all the digital channels that you just scanned. And there's some free content right here as well. And basically, these are streaming channels that you can get something like LG and Samsung's uh, TV+. Another thing this TV can do is it works with CEC. So you can actually use the remote control that comes with it to control gaming consoles, DVD players, Blu-ray players, if you don't want to use the remote control that came with it. So there you have it. That's the setup on the new 2023 TCL televisions. This will work for pretty much all the TVs that's coming out. So if you guys want to buy one, just come back and look at this review and you'll know how to set it up.